The Johnny Mercer Award is presented to songwriters who have already been inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame, like me. Um, this, <laughs> this prestigious award recognizes those whose contributions represent the highest achievements in songwriting and uphold the gold standard set by the legendary Johnny Mercer. Past recipients, recipients, sorry. I'll say that again. Past recipients include Stevie Wonder, Carol King, Stephen Sondheim, Billy Joel, Jimmy Webb, and Smokey Robinson. Tonight's honorees are truly one of the great songwriting teams in music history. Elton John and Bernie Taupin. <laughs> Putting it succinctly over four decades, Elton and Bernie have consistently produced amazing and memorable music and words, effortlessly poetic and viscerally grand. Elton's beautifully melodic piano style is the perfect complement to Bernie's razor-sharp lyrics. Their partnership has yielded a treasure trove of unforgettable hits. Your Song, Crocodile Rock, Daniel, Rocket Man, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, Benny and the Jets, Philadelphia Freedom, I'm Still Standing, it goes on. Providing music that comforted millions their tribute to John Lennon, Empty Gardens, remains one of the most beautiful and haunting songs of all time. And in 1997, their earlier hit, Candle in the Wind, was rewritten and re-recorded to honor the heartbreaking loss of Princess Diana. With over 33 million copies sold, it's the best-selling single in Billboard history. Rob. They're still going strong, and they recently composed songs for the, for the Union, Elton's album with his hero, Songwriters Hall of Fame inductee Leon Russell. And in September, Elton will release The Diving Board with 13 brand new songs. It's another collaboration to look forward to from these masters of songwriting. Please welcome my two heroes, the 2013 Johnny Mercer honorees, Elton John and Bernie Toppin. Johnny Mercer, lyricist, man. <laughs> All right, I'm going first. Make a change. Thank you, the ever eloquent Sting. Thank you, Songwriters Hall of Fame, Jimmy Webb, uh, John Teeter, all the people that did the legwork, Johnny Barbas, Frank Curtis, my beautiful wife, Heather. Um, I'll be brief. I always wanted to write stories. When I was younger, I heard the songs of Woody Guthrie and people like Johnny Cash singing uh, Don't Take Your Guns to Town, Johnny Horton, Battle of New Orleans, um, and most indelibly, the late, great Marty Robbins, who for me was sort of the blue touch paper. And uh, later on, I got the opportunity to tell stories but along with that, I got something that was kind of heaven sent, uh, something that I never dreamed of. I got somebody who took my stories and made them multi-genre, uh, multi-dimensional, and multi-generational, and still continues to do so. And I think, you know, if, if my stories were screenplays, I think I got sort of David Lean and John Ford wrapped into one. Um, I got somebody who put wings to my songs, took them all over the world, and made them belong to people, made them special to people, wrote things that made people believe those songs were their own, made people believe that we wrote sort of the soundtrack of their life. And 
So tonight I want to say something because this is very important to me because Elton is always more than generous about what he says about me. He always says that without me it'd be a blank canvas, without Bernie Taubin there'd be no Elton John. Well, I'd like to say without this guy, you know, I may have ended up telling stories but I'm not sure anybody would have been listening and I know <laughs> and I'm fully sure that I wouldn't be here tonight. Thank you. We've been together for so long. Our journey started about 46 years ago. We've never had an argument. We've never had a fight. Nothing to do with songs. We may have had an argument about what I was wearing or how I behaved. <laughs> the most incredible special relationship in my life. My first real important relationship wasn't with my father, wasn't with my mother, it was with my grandmother. And secondly, it was with Bernie Taupin. It became the brother I never had, the friend I always wanted, and one of the loves of my life, and still is. And the fact that we are still together and have given each other the chance to write with other people, which you must do. You must give each other freedom to try out other sources. Um, because of that, we're still together. And I think that's pretty amazing. And I have the easiest job in the world. I have to uh, write songs to these beautiful stories um, I grew up listening to the radio when I was a child and I imagined what was going on in my head as we all did, those of us who are old enough anyway. Um, and that helped me tremendously with this man from Lincolnshire who wrote these wonderful lyrics. I'm blessed, we are both blessed, to be in a room full of people that we never even thought we'd meet, let alone be in the same room as. Jimmy Webb was our idol. Smokey Robinson was our idol. Um, to see these people here tonight, um, to be in the same room as those wonderful, wonderful songwriters fills me with humility, fills me with incredible joy and pride. And I know there's a lot of you here that I haven't seen tonight because it's a big room. Uh, but I'd like to say hello to all the people that I have met in my life, uh, all the artists and those fellow songwriters. Songwriting is such a wonderful thing. Um, it takes you around the world, it gives people pleasure. Um, we take it for granted sometimes and then people come up to you and say, you have no idea what that song meant to me. And of course I have ideas because certain other people's songs meant so much to me at certain points of my life, whether it be good or be bad. You are all creative people in this room. It's an honor to be here, to receive this award from the Songwriters Hall of Fame, from Jimmy Webb. Uh, the Johnny Mercer Award means a hell of a lot. I don't mean this lightly, but when you get an Ivan Novello Award or an American Songwriters Hall of Fame, it means so much than getting a Grammy or, a, or anything like that, because this is where the whole process starts. When you, get, when you write a song, you give birth to a child, and it's yours for about five seconds until some moron gets hold of it and changes it. <laughs> Uh, Couldn't help yourself. No, I didn't help myself. Anyway, <laughs> thank you once again to, for this amazing award to Torpin, um, who is, as I say, the most incredible person to work with. I didn't see you tonight, Mr. Joel, but I love you dearly, and uh, I hope I see you soon, okay? Thank you. <laughs>